I know what it's like to have more month left at the end of the money. Maybe you're sitting there in the same place today wondering how God is going to grow this little business that he's put on your heart. And I just wanted you to know that I've been there. Uh, I'm Katie Horner, the flamingoadvantage.com. I'm a Christian business coach and author and a speaker. Um, but more than that, I'm a child of God. And I'm a child of God who God has given a vision to be able to encourage entrepreneurs in the marketplace to grow your business, to make more money, to have a greater impact, and to be able to do it all without compromising your faith, your family, or those non-negotiables in your life. We don't have to do it the world's way. We can take the strategies that work in today's marketplace, interpret them through the principles of the scriptures, and add the divine power of God to what we're doing to be able to maximize the results. And we also have the knowledge that the results of what God's calling us to do don't depend on us and may not look exactly like we expect them to. 10, 10 to 12 years ago, um, my husband and I were in full-time ministry. We were actually serving in Mexico through donation support only. We had four children under the age of six. And um, overnight, it seemed, all of our ministry opportunities and most of our donation support that we lived on dried up overnight. And when that happened, we had a choice to make. Are we going to uh, go back to the States, which we didn't feel like God was leading us to? Are we going to uh, stay here and find another ministry? And God did lead us in that direction. And how are we going to support that? God chose to lead us to start a business. And so while we know what it's like to wonder if we're going to have enough money to make it to the end of the month, we also now know the freedom of being able to only answer to God for the way that we spend the money that he provides. We, instead of having to have somebody else approve every decision as we did through our mission board and, and ministry opportunities back then, we now have multiple ministry opportunities that God funds and we only answer to him. It is, uh, we can give to a, a mission, we can give to a charity, we can give to scholarships and other things that are on our heart to do as God directs. And I, my husband Tap and I call it living and giving as God directs. That's something we didn't have the freedom to do before, but we do now. And the thing that changed all of this was saying yes to stepping into business with God. I used to teach a class called Doing Business with God that has impacted hundreds and hundreds of people through the history of our business. And today we teach it, but in a different format. Instead of doing six weeks, we take you through a three-day experience at our Christian Marketing Retreat, where we're talking about how to do business with God as opposed to just for Him. We talk about looking into God as the owner of the business and the one who gets to make the decisions and guide and direct the conversations and the way the resources are used rather than just acknowledging that we serve him and going on our way to make our own decisions and, and moves in our business. The marketplace is a mission field. This is what lights me up. This is where, you know, all of those people that said, why are you starting a business when you're in full-time ministry? How can you add that work to your ministry? Won't it take away from your ministry? And the answer was always no. God has enlarged our ministry opportunities. He has enlarged our tent, as the Old Testament says. He's given us more opportunities in the secular marketplace to show Christ than we ever had going door to door on any local mission field. And I believe that that's what God wants for his church. I believe that that's what he wants. Only a small number of us have been called and given the gifts and talents to be pastors. But those are not the only gifts and talents mentioned in scripture. There are teachers. There are encouragers. There are those who have mercy. There are those. How do we do that if not through the everyday interactions of our business? Christians today need to stop begging for sales. We need to start serving the people that God brings to us. Christians today need to fully embrace doing that business with God, not just doing business and acknowledging God on Sundays. We need to know the latest and greatest strategies. We need to be the leaders in the secular marketplace while blending our faith into everything that we do so that Christ can shine to the people who would not otherwise have a chance to see him. 
We need to combine the power of the natural law with the divine enablement of our God. His grace that allows us a daily walk with him. His grace that gives us more than we ever deserve. His divine enablement to do what he's called us to do. This is not your business. This is God's business that he has entrusted to you to steward on his behalf, to grow the kingdom, to shine a light to the Gentiles who would otherwise never know of him. And you and I have a great mission field in front of us. This is why I do what I do. Because if Christians in the secular marketplace knew how to and in fully embraced and committed to showing Christ in their day-to-day -day interactions with the people they have been called to serve, that kind of love can change the world. We don't change the world through giving jobs and giving scholarships. We change the world through loving on people. We don't change the world just by offering a product or a service. We change the world through love. And Christ shows us how to do that. He shows us how to love without being obnoxious. He shows us how to love without begging for sales. He shows us how to love without being sleazy or slimy or salesy in our business. He shows us how to love by having uh, policies that put people first. People over profit because we know who pays our salary and who owns the business. And so if that rings true for you today, if that is something you would like to learn more about, learn how to implement in your business because you do have a personal faith, I invite you to come to our Christian Marketing Retreat. We host these every few months, a um, couple of times a year. And we've got one coming up in just a few days. We would love to have you click that link down below. Get signed up to come to this event. It's three days, all virtual. You don't have to travel anywhere or buy food or figure out a babysitter. Watch it from wherever you are. But come and participate with us as we learn how to do business with God, as we learn how to market our business in a way that brings him glory while capitalizing on the best strategies in the industry today. I'm Katie Horner, Christian business coach with flamingoadvantage.com forward slash retreat is where you're going to find that information. I hope to see you there and I hope that this has at the minimum sparked you to ask, how could I glorify God more and show his love more through my business?